Okay, my name is Jim Al-Khalili. I'm a professor of physics and, sounds very posh, professor of public engagement in science at University of Surrey. So I divide my time between sort of academic scientific work and doing outreach and science communication and so on. Um, I get around, go to lots of science festivals, but and it's not just because I'm being interviewed and because I'm at Cheltenham. It's fair to say Cheltenham is my favourite. Cheltenham is this a buzz about the place. So I've been to every festival. I think I missed the first one, but I've been to every one since then. It's very impressive. <laughs> um, and why do you think events like this are important? Well, it, science communication. I think the UK leads the world in science communication. That's that's you know without any doubt. And there, are, there seem to be more and more science festivals popping up all the time. So every city seems to have its own science festival, which is fantastic. It used to be that the people who go to science festivals are the sorts of people who go to science festivals. And you sort of, when you, as a scientist, and you talk about some exciting field, you're preaching to the converted. But what's changing and what seems to be happening in places like Cheltenham, when you get the real buzz, that it really is, you know, Joe Public coming in, think, oh, there's, you know, there are some big name stars, people maybe I've seen on telly, names I've heard of. And, and it really is a, a great way of in, infusing people. Mm -hmm. um, why, I mean, why do you think we need to infuse people about science? Oh, I mean, uh, many, many reasons. The, the, uh, you can hear in the background the, 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 the buzz of school kids wandering around at various displays. And, you know, so number one, it, it's, that's the next generation of scientists there. Most people I talk to who are not scientists say, wow, I was turned off science at school, if only my teacher had told me about some of this interesting stuff, I'd have probably stuck with it. So keeping kids interested and engaged in science is vital. We need the scientists, we need the engineers of the future. Um, but just more generally, you know, the public need to be better informed about scientific issues. I don't mean they need to know about the Higgs boson or they need to know about the, the, you know, where black holes have been discovered. They just need to, to be informed enough they live, we live in a technological and scientific age, and they need to know enough to understand how science works. You know, whether it's, is climate change really happening? Um, is nuclear power a good thing or bad thing? Is GM good or bad? MMR for vaccines was the example that everyone quotes, had people understood about m clinical trials and stuff like that, then they may not have been sort of led down, down the, wrong, the wrong path. So, I mean, it's, it's vital, science is, so important, but also science is part of popular culture, and I think that's something that we're seeing a bit more now. That, in the same way that someone from the arts will say, you know, art and music, you know, terribly important, they're part of what defines us as humans. Well, so is science. You know, knowing our place in the universe is is vital, and it's part of what what defines us as an enlightened society.